day 930 of eating Chipotle every single day. Imagine that, 930 days of you doing anything besides brushing your teeth, showering, and drinking water. Any extras, just think about that. Think, think of anything you could do every single day for 930 days. It's not as easy as a lot of people think. It, uh, it takes a lot of dedication and determination and uh, you know any other words that start with D that stands for those same things. So like, think about it. Like, no matter what goes on, I have to eat Chipotle. Whether I'm, I have the flu, I have uh, a fever, or I'm in the hospital and my wife's giving birth. No matter what's going on, I've had to be at Chipotle or have somebody pick up Chipotle or have it delivered and put Chipotle in my mouth. Pause. But anyway, so uh, talking about the mistake I made with the quesarito yesterday, I know typically you wouldn't put oil in a pan and then cheese. I understand that. But my pans are horrible. The, they are the opposite of nonstick. They're like extra stick pans. So when I cook anything in those pans, I have to put oil in there. If you go back and watch the video, what I did was I put a little bit of oil in there. I, I make, covered the entire pan and then I dump out the excess oil. So it's not like I was, I was just trying to make it not stick. Now, you know, we could try it again. I might have to go buy a different pan before we try it again because it's legitimately that bad. But I'm gonna see if they can just make it here. We'll see. We're headed to Chipotle now. Already got in the gym. We hit chest, sauna, 100 push-ups at the end of chest workout. It was a freaking great chest day, but I am exhausted. So let's go see what we can do. Today is day 930 of eating Chipotle every single day. And we gotta talk about yesterday's video and the quesarito mix-up. Um, the, we, the girl that uh, took my order today didn't know how to make the quesarito, but we will try to get one here. And if we can't get one here, we'll definitely try to do it at home again. Look, I understand that you're not supposed to put oil in the pan and then cheese. Like, I trust me, I'm not a cook and I was dying laughing at all the comments but I do not have a non-stick pan. My pans are the opposite. They are super stick pans. So when I cook anything in those pans, I have to put a little bit of oil. What, what you guys didn't see is I let the oil go all around the pan and then I dump out the excess, just basically looking for a non-stick layer. But I understand that that doesn't mix well with cheese. And like I said, I was dying laughing at the comments. You guys were laughing, I was laughing. All around good content, I was not mad at all. We are eating Chipotle for a thousand days, so we have plenty of time to try the quesarito again. Make sure you guys follow so you can see what happens, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. But on a real note, we will try the quesarito again. I don't know when, but I'm gonna make it happen. I would like to try it directly from here, but if I can't find somebody that knows how to make it, I'll just, uh, I'll try to do it at home again, and I'll literally I'll just go buy a non-stick pan. I was so worn out from the gym today that I needed food. I was relying on having some food. Sometimes it'd just be like I'd be totally exhausted, but I'm gonna go home, chill, maybe get some watermelon, rehydrate, and then we'll run this evening. Cause I gotta get this weight off, no matter what.